Hi viewers, today um, I'm going to try some water powered LEDs in a water powered motor, a 240 volt motor, which means that uh, a high voltage, which is basically tracking through water. Um, it gives you also an idea of the dangers of uh, step potential uh, when high voltage lines are down on the ground or even playing with microwave transformers. They are actually lethal devices. So yeah, you always take good safety into account. LEDs on the test, two terminals hanging in water, two other terminals feeding the cooling motor and two wires going up showing the voltage, 200 volts across the water and about 7 mA to drive this LED lamp. High voltage side, low voltage side from the, uh, or the earth from the MRT supply. The water heats up pretty quick so I need to do things um, in a reasonable pace. Normal mains M meter 15 amps to 30 volts, 1 amp coma of the MOTs, 1700 volts, 50.5 hertz, 210 volts to the fan. 9 milliamps to the LED lamp. That's the current status at the moment. As the water heats up quickly, I may need to um, turn the supply off and put cold water back in. I'll zoom in a bit to the LED. See, it starts arcing. Yeah, now we get that. Get some cold water. Cold water in the thing again. High voltage electrodes, the cooling fan electrodes, and the LEDs. They are controlled by two 3K3 5 volt resistors. Cooling fan, it's not needed, the MOTs don't get warm, but that's a uh, good aid anyway. We've got the meters, it's about 1900 volts. I forgot to quote the start reading, that was 134.6, and it's now just at 7. Show that there's no cheating. Um, LEDs, they just come out like this, and they go back in like this. Same as my microwave cold transformer, I just take one electrode out, and the fan stops. We'll put it back in. Actually, needs not much area. That's for the fan motor. And back all um, surface areas required to um, actually. Uh, Turn it on or off. There, the LEDs. Put a little bit of rectifier on it, a little one amp bit of rectifier. So yeah, we utilize the full AC. It's pretty quick for heating up water. This system. That's spluttering, I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want to get everything wet. Myth or no myth, LEDs can be powered with water. Thanks for watching. Power used in this experiment is 250 watt hours.